Coming up on Between Bells, surprising place to find art where you may have never thought to look. That's next. All right, well, welcome back to Between Bells. It's Friday, so that can only mean one thing, a deep dive into the wonderful world of art with our amazing chief art correspondent, Cheryl McGinnis. Yes. Cheryl, great to be with you. Oh my God, I'm not worthy. Oh, we are not worthy. I'm not worthy. Not worthy. I'm not worthy. By the oh way, uh, it smells like goose in here. It does. Oh, I just want you to I'm glad you wore uh, green yes. today, Cheryl. Yes, aren't you glad, Cheryl? I wear the name. Well, yes, your last name is McGinnis. Yes. So is, you, is that Irish? I just, it is Irish. Yes. Portuguese and Italian on one side, Irish on the other. It's just a mess. It's just perfect. Amazing. Okay, perfect. it's a yes. spark. Yes. Amazing. Yes. yes. Thank you. All right, well, today we're going to talk a little bit. We're, we're really actually taking a look at college exhibits and yes. galleries around the country. Yes. Maybe not the first place people think of when going, trying to find some right. art, but should they be? Yes. You should always look to the universities, and I'll tell you why. Everyone, th well, first of all, they're free. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you see amazing shows, like a show that we talked about a month ago, the Guggenheim. Yes. Where we saw some pieces mm -hmm. pushed out. That art, one of the artists, Jong Hung Tu, is now at a show at Connecticut College. In, a li in the library there, small show, but very, very important so. So he goes from the Guggenheim to Connecticut College. Wow. Then, and this is his show, is Van Gogh, um, where he takes the images from the Bodhihama, which is uh, was with the first Zen Buddhist, and he melds them with Van Gogh's portraits. Amazing. And it is, and all of his work is about cross-culture, so he continues this. And to see it in this setting within a college campus in a library is amazing. Mm -hmm. Then we have a show at Gaucher College, an mm -hmm. artist that I'm really excited about, Rose Anderson. You get these really nice little takeaways really? also yeah. from the universities, Beautiful. who's doing this amazing work where she's kind of going out into her native Baltimore and finding, uh, forging through the countryside and, and using this assemblage of imagery and then what finding a refuge in nature, but also what's happening in terms mm -hmm. of industry and, mm -hmm. and the combination of both. Merging the two. Merging the two. And she's found a new language. And Gaucher College, it's so nice that they're, it's great that they're doing this exhibit because their students are part of this, going back and forth from classes. Same thing at Connecticut College. Mm -hmm. They're looking at art on a daily basis. Mm -hmm also gives us a different trajectory. We always think, oh, let's follow the galleries. Let's see this artist in this gallery or that gallery. But when they're in the museums, you know, and the universities, what happens is the graduate students are writing the theses. They're writing the art history books of tomorrow. Very cool. So that they're becoming a part of the canon of art so history. So is that kind of the big takeaway yeah. of why you, a lot of these artists are going to these colleges? Is that what you would we think? We love it. We, I love curating. I love curating here, uh -huh. but I love curating in a college setting too because also the energy of the students yeah. and that that acceptance of just wanting to take it all on, right? Wanting to be a part of it all is so wonderful. Whereas, you know, obviously museums are amazing and galleries are amazing, but they're a little bit more standoffish. Mm -hmm. You go into, a, if you guys go downtown to the um, borough of Manhattan Community College, right across from the Oculate, walk in, you'll feel a tremendous welcome. Go to Hunter College Galleries, you, it's free, uh -huh. and you'll have a wonderful time, and you're going to see some really wonderful art, and you'll watch careers grow. Amazing, truly yes. amazing. Now, do a yes. lot of students go to this, or will you even see people, the average person, lay person, walk into yes. this as well? Yeah, a lot, especially in Harvard, Yale, Princeton, um, but Hunter College on 68th Street, they have they have four studios in the city. They have uh -huh. four galleries in the city, one in Tribeca. So you do see a lot of people going in and seeing both what students are doing within, this is the show at Gaucher. Mm -hmm. Oh, so um, cool. These, isn't this gorgeous? I mean, look at that. You see students talking about work, you know, and what happened was when they did this video here, it was so packed with students talking about it. They waited till they cleared out so that we could see the work. So have, having this dialogue with art, it, it what happens is now we're developing art viewers yeah. in the, on the college level, younger and such, and younger. And so we have a culture 
right. of art. Of there's also grow a, up with it. Yeah, yes. there's also a faculty exhibit also at the Fashion Institute of Technology, yes. right? Yes, there's a terrific faculty exibit there, right, right on 23rd Street. You just walk into the ground floor. Also there, they have amazing fashion exhibits. Yep. So remember our show from the holidays? Yes, absolutely. Right? Well, the faculty was over there and doing great work and we got to see their work. So it's this kind of feel of being in a lot of different places. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to, I really it's my role as art correspondent also uh -huh. for my own making art accessible. I want especially millennials, to think about looking at art in a lot of different places, mm -hmm. not just for the notion of collecting, mm -hmm. but just for your own edification. Well, yeah, and exactly, life. for the educational experience yeah, that you get from that. It's so culture. amazing. Yeah. Breaking down the barriers, I think, in so many ways, and, and these immersive experiences, right? Right. Gene, being at some of these places and experiencing the art, I think what a lot of young right. people really like. And then the artists are there. There's artist talks, there's uh, professors bring dis different disciplines. You see science professors bringing their students in and so you have all this cross dialogue happening. Yeah. It's very exciting. Wonderful. All right, Cheryl, before we wrap, yes. what are you doing tomorrow for St. Patrick's Day? Oh my God. <laughs> well, because well, we asked our, yeah. the reason why oh, okay. I asked is we asked our viewers today okay. on our poll today uh, yeah. at Baker Bachata, what are you doing to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Okay, so oh, 42% of people say they're watching March Madness, or 13% oh, say they're watching sense. Stormy Daniels. I am going up to Westchester. I'm going to sit in an artist's studio on the Hudson. Oh, oh that sounds nice. I, yes, we're going to light the fire in her studio. Serena Booski has one of the best studios. She had an exhibit here, didn't yes, she? Yes, she did. So we're going, very good. She oh, knows Kristen. her art, too. I like She's Serena. Gonna, oh, the fact that you remember. I know. She is fangirling. <laughs> <laughs> Serena, <laughs> she remembered. So I'm going up there, lighting the fire, and watching Serena work and come up with all kinds of fabulous things. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's a good, great weekend. <laughs> yes. Amazing. And Serena Serena's father makes the best martinis, so we'll be. Oh, that's, that's a way to celebrate. As long as they're great. All right, Sean McGinnis, our chief art correspondent emeritus. Great to have you on. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.